Aromaticity For a compound to be aromatic, it must have a cyclic structure. Each atom of the ring must have an unhybridized p-orbital. The unhybridized p-orbitals form a continuous cycle around the ring, so the ring must be planar. The number of electrons residing in the pi electron cloud either the pi bonds they form or solely on an atom, is equal to 4n plus 2, where n is an integer. What does it mean to be aromatic? A compound is aromatic if it is more stable than its open chain counterpart. For example, benzene is more stable than 135 hexatriene. Thus, delocalization of the pi electrons makes it more stable and less reactive than one would predict for the stability of a compound if the double bonds were isolated or conjugated. Let's take a closer look at the molecular orbitals. As discussed earlier in the chapter, the pi molecular orbitals of a cyclic conjugated system follow a general pattern. The lowest molecular orbital has no nodes and is filled with two electrons followed by pairs of degenerate or equal energy orbitals. As the energy of these orbitals increases, so does the number of nodes. Each of these energy levels will have four electrons. Now you can see where the pattern 4n plus 2 comes from. n equals the number of energy levels that are occupied by four electrons, and the plus 2 is from the electrons in the lowest energy level. The stability of the aromatic rings comes from the ability of all of the occupied pi bonding molecular orbitals to delocalize the electrons over several nuclei. For simplicity, let's take a look at the highest occupied molecular orbitals of benzene and see how the electron density is distributed. I have chosen the highest occupied molecular orbital because the highest occupied molecular orbital dictates molecular orbital attributes of the molecule. Notice then in one orbital, where there is a node or an antibonding interaction, in the other orbital, there is a bonding interaction, such that the combination of these two orbitals distribute the electron density between each adjacent carbon equally. This is consistent with the way we think about resonance structures of benzene. Now compare the highest occupied molecular orbital of 135 hexatriene. The HOMO shows the double bonds located between adjacent bonds. Since the highest occupied molecular orbital dictates molecular attributes, we would expect the localized double bonds of the triene to be higher in energy and more reactive than the delocalized electrons in the highest occupied molecular orbital of benzene. Thus, a compound is aromatic if it is more stable than its open chain counterpart. The localization of the pi electrons makes it more stable and less reactive than one would predict for the stability of the molecule if the double bonds were isolated or conjugated.